awareness. So I think it's something that's so, so important, but not really spoken about because I actually think people that come and see me for a bit of coaching, the most valuable element of any lesson is actually them understanding exactly where they are because then they can basically build towards where they want to go. So fortunately here at Archer Field, we've got some great tech, in particular gears. So Gears 3D really al allows us to see exactly where somebody is from a technical standpoint, also shows us how equipment is influencing things. So here's an example of awareness creating or actually giving us the foundation for some pretty significant change. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we've got a professional golfer who swings it absolutely grease lightning fast. So 126, 121 miles an hour here on these swings. So pretty darn quick. So one thing that he was really aware of was the ball flight was pretty high. So when we got on the gear system, the first thing that we really spotted was, hopefully you can see this there, is the amount of deflection of the shaft. So what deflection is, is the forward bending here that you'll hopefully be able to see. Um, let me zoom in for us so we can actually have a look there. You can see that that's the forward bend of the shaft relative to that zero line. So the amount of deflection there, 50.39 millimeters. So a significant amount of deflection going on. So the, the fix here, although we discussed kind of getting something stiffer in terms of shaft, but that was going to prove pretty tough because we've got triple X, sorry, triple X stiff in here. So really, really stiff shaft um, in here. So it was actually going to be through technique. So the eagle eyed amongst you will see that the difference here in technique was was basically through trying to create a bit more shaft lean. So trying to de-loft it through kind of body orientation and handle position. So when we actually overlay this, you can see there the significant difference there in terms of where the golfer is technically because of that deflection. So that was kind of bringing the flight down and kind of facilitating the shaft motion. So the way that we did that was actually trying to get the player to actually get more on their left side. So covering the ball, if you will, um, through rotation. So we can see here the through rotation um, getting more on that left side, you can see the, the actual sway element, so the lateral left and right, you can see here 3.1 inches before and zero with the upper body, it's now four and one. So then when we go above, we can then pop the uh, body lines in, take these two away, we can see there the, the dramatic difference there in terms of the rotation, so hips, 29, 28.9, I'll zoom in here so you can all see this, 28.9, um, then after 52, shoulders 12 degrees open. Here, well, basically not like one degree point seven. So basically, the moral of the story is that being aware of the shaft motion here, so that forward bend, that deflection being 50.39 millimeters, then led to us kind of solving the problem through technique. So sometimes it could be equipment, sometimes it could be technique, but what happened through the technical change was a significant improvement in terms of delivery, but also interestingly how the club responded actually dropped the deflection down to 41.28. So pretty nice example of how understanding or being aware of what's happening then leads to a better, more informed change. So there you have it. The key element to that professional's goal for success was actually being aware of what was happening at impact. So without being able to see how the shaft was influencing things, we were probably gonna be shooting in the dark to see what was the best solution. So it could have been a, you know, sessions on changing shafts, changing equipment, de-lofting heads, et cetera, et cetera. But the power of being able to see what was going on and then putting our heads together coming up with the best possible solution to better change, i.e. technique, led to much better play, and especially at that kind of speed, uh, slightly more straighter, more in play tee shots. So, hope you found that interesting. Please get in touch if you've got any questions. Thanks ever so much for watching. See you soon.